Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to animate the camera um, in a 2D grease pencil scene. So let's get started. I've opened up this scene. It's a simple uh, bouncing ball. It's just a simple 2D bouncing ball. It's about 27 frames. And we're going to animate the camera so that it um, zooms in on the first frame. We're going to zoom in the camera here. Uh, and as the camera, as the ball bounces, the camera will follow it and zoom out a bit until we see the full frame at the end of the scene. All right, let's get started. It's really, really simple. The camera is visible when you see the 3D scene. And all I did was click on the middle mouse button and rotate the scene. And here's the camera. <clears throat> but I'd like to see also what the camera is seeing. Uh, this scene, I'd like to see what the camera is seeing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this uh, uh, viewport into two. And I have a video, I just put out a video on, on how to do uh, this customization of the viewports. Uh, <clears throat> you, can, you can watch it so you can learn how to do that. So in this viewport, I like to keep the camera. And in this viewport, I'm going to rotate it and so that I can see uh, the 3D scene. Shift so that I can see the camera. Uh, I'm going to select the camera. I am going to... Go to object mode, select the camera. And then now we're ready to uh, start animating the camera. But you have to select it. You have to be in object mode, select the camera. You can select the camera in the outliner as well. And then you'll notice that there's no, there's no keyframes. So at the beginning, I'm gonna select my um, transform tool. At the very beginning, at frame one, what I'd like to do is push the camera forward to zoom in, push the camera over and up so that I can see the ball, have be zoomed in at the ball. And then as we go out, I will put the camera out. So I'd like to get a frame, a keyframe going. Okay. The first thing we need to do is click on this button, auto key. And what that does is it'll create a keyframe automatically. That's why it's called auto keyframe. Every time we move that camera and very, very convenient, very easy. All you need to do is remember to click it on and very important, click it off when you're done. So <clears throat> my camera is set to be zoomed in right at frame one at the ball. Uh, although we don't see any keyframes, we need to change this to a timeline. And there's our keyframes. Because we move that camera <clears throat> into position and we have auto keyframe turned on, it created a keyframe for us. I, I will, um, I'll show you guys again. I'm going to delete the keyframes. Move my camera a bit and boom, automatically creates all the keyframes we need. So the next thing we'll do is go all the way to the end. I'd say, hmm, I, I say I want the camera to be at the end position before the end of the animation. Let's say frame 20. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my camera out and place it exactly where I want it and I'm, and I'm moving the camera in this viewport, but I'm watching this one. And that's my end frame. At frame 20, automatically those keyframes are created because we have auto keyframe. Now, if we go and play, hit the play button. It looks like I may have to do an adjustment by right about there, the, the ball goes out of frame. So what I'd like to do is move the camera, lower it, push it forward a little bit, and maybe even zoom in a little bit. 
and there it should be. It should follow the ball and then zoom out. There we go, guys. That's it. Very, very simple, very, very effective and powerful te technique. Oh, don't forget, turn off auto keyframe when you're done. And like always, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.